This week, OpenAI has said that they are reportedly preparing to launch a new AI model called Strawberry. Now, the thing is, this isn't exactly new and it wasn't always called Strawberry. Let's just go ahead and dive into some of the websites and these news articles are saying about OpenAI and what they have found out. Well, OpenAI is reportedly launching a new AI product, like I said, but it's saying that it can solve problems and tasks that are beyond current AI models. We'll see about that. First, reported by the information, this is internally referred to as Strawberry and among other things is able to solve math problems it has never encountered, perform high level tasks such as developing marketing strategies and even solve complex word puzzles. Apparently there's an example where it solved the connections puzzle in the New York Times. We don't know how many examples it tried to solve before it finally solved one, but we'll, you know, we'll leave it as that. We'll leave it at that. Now, these are all claims that have been said about the model, right? We don't really know, but there are claims that the model has scored over 90% on the math benchmark. Uh, by comparison, GPT-4 scored only 53% on the test and gpt 40 achieved 76.6%. That is a huge increase, right? Just from GPT-4 to 40, let alone from 40 to the new Strawberry AI model. That is a pretty substantial increase if that is accurate. Now, I don't know if you remember, but at the end of last year or at some point last year, there was something called QSTAR, which was supposed to bring AGI into the world, right? It was supposed to be an AI breakthrough. You could not go onto YouTube or Google search without seeing something about QSTAR in the AI space. Well, now that AI, same AI model is being renamed Strawberry. So it didn't actually like go away necessarily, even though it was kind of here and then not but this is that model. Now, reportedly, this is going to be coming out sometime in the fall. I've seen this on a lot of articles where it is supposed to come out in the fall. However, we know that that's not always the case, right? They, you know, they were bringing out voice chat, but it wasn't to everybody. It was only to certain people. Then whenever we finally got it, you know, it was not whenever, it wasn't the same timeline that they said. We'll see when it's actually gonna come out. Now what this article from Android Authority is saying is that there will be two versions of Strawberry. The smaller one is the, probably the one that we'll be using with ChatGPT and OpenAI's API. And you know, the reason is because we do wanna maintain the same level of performance as the larger model while also being cheaper and easier to operate. Now the reason for the larger version of Strawberry uh, supposedly, is to generate higher quality training data into its LLMs. This training data generated from AI is known as synthetic data. With this, it will reduce the company's need to use text and images from the internet to train its AI models. And one thing that's interesting here is it wants to reduce the hallucinations. And as a result of this, the company is reportedly using the large version of Strawberry to train the successor of GPT-4, codenamed Orion. Now, what's interesting is that OpenAI is confident enough in the Strawberry AI model that has shown off the technology to American national security officials. The demo could be related to OpenAI's initiative to be more transparent to policymakers who feel threatened by the power of AI. This may be more for a financial reason, uh, because once you have certain people in your company that have led this project uh, leave, then that doesn't necessarily look good for open AI. Now, this Medium article is also suggesting that at the heart of the capabilities of this new AI model, that it's using a technique called self-taught reasoner or STAR. At the end of the day, we don't really know when Strawberry is going to be coming out. The only thing that I can say for somewhat certain, uh, this may backfire on me, is that this will be better than GPT-40. Although we will have to see, but I can't, ima I can't imagine them coming or giving us something that's less than GPT-40. And hopefully it's even cheaper. You know, as time goes on, we'll get more and more information about this new AI model. And then what with, we're even going to do with the new one called Orion, which some people are saying could be GPT-5. Who knows? We'll see. If you're interested in taking free AI courses, you can take these AI agentic framework courses that I have created. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next video.